Welcome back. It's time now for your Money Watch report this morning. The government just released a report on economic growth for the final quarter of last year. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us from New York to tell us what happened. Jill, good morning to you. After a sizzling summer, did the economy slow down in the fourth quarter? It did slow down, but it was really strong. So we're talking about gross domestic product. It tallies the value of goods and services that are sold in the U.S. And as you said, the third quarter was sizzling. We grew at an annualized pace of 4.9%, but the fourth quarter was way better than expected, 3.3%. And we really thought that it was going to be closer to 2%. So a deceleration for sure, but strong for the full year. The U.S. economy expanded, right? I'm talking about when you look at the end of 2022 until the end of 2023, we have a 3.1% increase in the total economy. And guess what? Pat yourselves on the back. Strong consumer spending propelled us. We also saw a revival in manufacturing investment and increased state and local purchases. Okay, so what do those numbers mean for recession concerns this year? Remember a year ago, all those people in Davos were like, oh, my God, there's going to be a recession. Well, they're back in Davos, but we never got a recession. And, you know, I think we are going to see a slowing economy this year. But I have to be honest, like there's no wild flashing signal. It could happen. But at this moment, we don't see that. And if we do see growth slow down, maybe, you know, from, let's say, three over three percent to more like one percent that would be what the fed wants that would be the so-called soft landing a slowdown in the economy that helps bring down the inflation rate but not a recession okay so the federal reserve convenes a policy meeting next week what are they expected to do I think a whole lot of nothing. Even though inflation has showed great progress since the peak in the summer of 2022, inflation still is running hotter than the desired target by the Fed. Central bankers, I don't think, will do anything at this meeting that's coming up. That would mean short-term interest rates would remain at more than two decade highs of five and a quarter to five and a half percent. Good news for savers, not so good for borrowers. All right. As always, great to see you, Jill. Thank you so much. And for more analysis, you can go to jillonmoney.com.